Hi guys. I feel like it's been a long time, no talk vlog style. Um, the last two videos I put up, one was a makeup tutorial and the other one was a plan with me video, which I want to do more of. Um, let me know if you guys liked them. But um, good morning. Today's gonna be a week in my life. I have not done one of these in a very long time, way before Vlogmas. And I wanted to do one this week. Um, this week is a creative week, technically. I'm using this week to create new products for the Manifest Planner. Anyway, it's Monday morning. It's 7.45 a.m. I am headed to Stride, which is my studio that I co-own in Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Um, and I'm going there for a private Pilates session. Stride, Stride's always offered reformer Pilates, um, but we only offer a few time slots a day with the reformer Pilates, so they're typically very booked out and I don't want to take a spot from a client. So I book privates with my instructors and everyone can book privates as well. Like if you're watching this and you're from the Phoenixville area or just one or anywhere in the area and you want to take Pilates classes, you can book privates and our rates are really low competitively. So um, you can book privates with us. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do a private right now with Amanda, who's one of our instructors. This Sunday is the Super Bowl and Eagles are in the Super Bowl. So go birds. And um, I will see you guys when I get to the studio. You might not like me when you go for your next one with one after that. <laughs> this is great. Longer. I feel like it does since I cut it but at the same time I feel like it doesn't <laughs> for breakfast I think I'm gonna do um, two eggs scrambled with avocado and pickled onions none of these avocados are super ready but I'm gonna force this one to be ready there was a crisis when so Jonathan Lindsay had this partnership in New York City he's now known for food and probably don't even know this but I know that my company I'm the one that's bringing the deals no we, we saved Rita, them Rita, yeah, I love you, yeah. But the I'm simply wondering how I make so many dishes like literally all I did was make breakfast and now I have like a million dishes now is the time of my day where I go in and fill out my planner and I actually filmed last night me setting up my planner for the week so I'm gonna put that clip in right now, but let me know if you guys want a whole video. Like you want that separated out of a video of how I plan because I just put it into this video. Um, but let me know, I'm using the manifest planner of course. Hi guys. So last time I posted like just a video in and of itself, just planning. And I wanted to now put one in a video so you guys can kind of see like what you like more if you like them in a video or on their own video. So let me know. Um, but I filmed this on Sunday night and f seeing that I uploaded this on a Sunday is like pretty fitting. Um, this is what I do every single Sunday. Um, so I just kind of wanted to record the process for planning my weeks and my days and seeing that this is like a Monday morning, it's fitting. So I'm using the hardcover manifest planner. I use, um, a thing of sticky notes and you'll see why in a minute. And I also use my iPad because my iPad has one, my digital manifest planner on it, but also my Google calendar. And I will link below a podcast episode where I talk in depth about like how exactly I plan like my weeks, months days and everything like that. Um, but I wanted to show you guys as well. So I first flip open to my week and I do the weekly reviews off camera. So I'm not going to show you guys that today, but we're going to first start with my weekly intentions. Um, so the first thing that I do is write out the days of the week on these sticky notes, like post-it notes. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday, I skip Saturday because I typically don't have a to-do list on Saturdays but I do all the other days of the week. So I just put that aside um, for now and I just start filling in my week. So this was technically the first week of February because it was February 6th. 
um, which is like the first full week of February. So I first start off by writing my goals for the week and I pull my goals directly from my monthly goals and I pull my monthly goals from my yearly goals. And this is all set up in the manifest method where um, it's in the beginning of this planner, but I also have just like the manifest method. I call them my manifest worksheets available digitally if you guys want to create like goal systems and um, the manifestation practice that I use in day-to-day life. So I write out my weekly goals and then I go into writing out my morning routine. This week, it was pretty simple. I just wanted to wake up at 7 a.m., work out at 8 a.m. and the rest of the morning would kind of figure itself out. Some weeks I'm like really specific about how I like to have my mornings and then other weeks I just know like what time I want to work out and like that is good enough for me. When it comes to my meal plans, I always plan these on Sunday nights because I like to order my groceries on Sundays so that all my groceries are there on Mondays. Um, So I typically do the same breakfast every day of the week, which is why you'll see me say like Monday on other days of the week. That just means whatever I wrote on Monday is like what I'm going to do for the rest of the week. Breakfast is always the same and lunch is either always the same or leftovers from the night before. Um, and then I just kind of write out what I'm planning to have for the week and order my groceries based off that. And then I write in my movement. Now, because I am training for my marathon, it's a lot of run, um, running and then spinning. I teach spin twice a week and low impact strength workouts. Um, you guys will see that I do Pilates on Tuesday, but I forgot to write it in here because I actually forgot that I was doing Pilates until Monday night. Um, but yeah, that's my movement for the week. So I love planning this out in my weekly intentions on the hardcover manifest planner. The digital version of the manifest planner also has this, but actually more in depth. So, um, if you guys want to order the manifest planner, I will have a link to it down below in the description box. You can get the hardcover copy or the digital copies and the digital is an instant download. You just need an iPad and good notes is what I use. So then flipping over to the next page, I go in to my weekly time block and this is just where I write down appointments, meetings, and kind of figure out how much time I have each day to work. And then I'll schedule my to-do list according to how much time I have to work. So if I know that I have like a lot of calls one day, I typically will not like schedule out a lot of, you know, work to do's that day or if I have a lot of meetings or something like that. Um, but if there's a big block of days and this week I mentioned earlier in the week that it's like my creative week. So my days this week were pretty open and that's because I really wanted to be creative this week and allow myself that time to create new products and, um, things like that. So I really just wrote in my workouts, which were at 8 a.m. this week. Um, I had some night workouts. I had dinner with some friends this week, and I just wrote all that stuff in the weekly time block. Um, I love the weekly time block. It's one of my favorite um, tools in the Manifest Planner, and I get even more detailed in um, like some weeks when I just have like a lot of appointments or meetings and stuff like that, like this will be totally filled up. But this week, like I said, it was pretty open. Um, I'm also going on a retreat this Sunday, which I'm really excited about. And like I said earlier, the Eagles are in the Super Bowl, So I'm like super excited about that. Okay. Moving back to the sticky notes that I wrote down earlier. So now I'll take the sticky notes and I will look at like a big master to-do list and I will write down all of my to-dos based on how much time I have to do them that day. So Mondays are typically days that I do like a little bit of everything, like a little bit of stride work, a little bit of planner work, a little bit of admin work, a little bit of housework. So like typically they're like my longer to-do list days. And then Tuesday, Wednesday for this week, I left pretty open to be creative. And then Thursday, I left pretty heavy to podcasting and editing, which is today. I'm editing this on Thursday. And then Friday, I kept it light. And Sunday, I kept it also pretty light because of the Super Bowl. And I do this because I like to write my daily spreads either the morning of or the night before. But life happens when we're busy making plans. So this is like my rough draft of my to-dos for each day. And I don't like to dirty up each page with like pen or pencil. I'd like it to be like perfect the day of that I write it. When I do this with my digital copy, I don't do like a sticky note method like this. I'll just go in and like write down my to-dos and then on the morning of like I'll erase it and kind of just like perfect it. But then I go into my daily spreads. Like this was from last week. Like I didn't even touch these two spreads. So I don't want to like waste them. So then I'll just go in and put sticky notes for each day of what it should be for the week. 
and then I will just go in on that day and like figure things out and that is pretty much how I plan. So then I have my monthly spread, I have my weekly spread, and I have my daily spread. And like I can tell you guys, I'm I filmed this on Sunday and now it's Thursday. My to-do lists have changed so much from what I thought it would be on Sunday nights and that normally happens. So I really love the sticky note method. I just feel like it's a really good way to have everything organized but not like set in stone. And if like your days mess up or your days change or something like you don't feel like you've wasted like an entire daily spread in your hardcover manifest planner. So that's how I plan for the week. Again, let me know if you guys like this in a video or if you guys want it to be its own dedicated video. Um, I need to figure out how to wave, but that is how I plan my week. And then I just go in and I do this either in the mornings, like this week I was doing a lot in the mornings. Sometimes I'll also do it at night and I will just plan out, um, my days and I just take the sticky note you guys can see the sticky note in like the right side of the screen and I'll just write my to-do list based off of that so that is how I plan my weeks about 1 p.m. now um, let me show you I'm currently just working on a new product for the manifest planner I also really want to focus back in on digital too um, I've surprisingly sold more digital copies than hardcover copies I thought I would sell more hardcover but you guys seem to be liking the digital and um, I also really like the digital I like them all if I'm being honest um, I use both I use digital and hard copy so Today I'm just using the hard copy. But yeah, that's what I'm working on now. My camera's flashing at me, so I have to go change my battery real quick. But I think I'm gonna go throw in a little laundry and cook some chicken that I'm gonna make for lunch. I'm gonna make a Caesar, not a Caesar, a Greek salad with chicken and rice, and I'm so excited to eat it. You guys, I'm like not kidding, I can't get warm. I should probably turn the heat up in my house, but I don't want to because gonna be like 60 degrees on Wednesday so like in a couple of days on this vlog in the same video I'm gonna be like guys it's so warm out today and it's kind of warm out today too like it's mid 40s but I am just so flipping cold I don't like cooking chicken but the other night I cooked chicken in the air fryer and it was perfectly cooked and it was actually like juicy like I've never had juicy chicken because i'm terrified that i have undercooked my chicken but this one was like actually perfect doing laundry is like my least favorite thing i literally just wait until i have to do laundry so what's going on in your life anything cool anything exciting now i'm gonna marinate my chicken while i make my playlist so i'm just gonna marinate mine with greek dressing Keep it really simple. So because I have spin later, this is gonna really be a good meal, but I wanna make sure that I'm eating with enough time to digest it before I teach. So it's two now, and if I eat by 2.30, then I'll have three hours to digest, which is good. I'm looking good, looking good. But because I'm just simply like not okay, Every single bite, I inspect it to make sure that it's like fully cooked. I don't know, it's like a fear. This can be a really good lunch. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. I got my lacrosse ball, which I am, oh my God, it's so cold because I put it in the freezer. I had spin last night and as soon as I got home from spin, I got home from spin at like 7.45. Um, I just showered and like went right to bed. Like just was so tired. Last night when I got home from spin, I didn't have any dinner because I was so full yesterday. 
Um, I don't know why, I just didn't really have a big appetite yesterday. I think because I just took a couple of days off from running and like big training loads. So I wasn't really that hungry yesterday. On Sunday, I made these banana muffins and I'm about to have one before I go for my run. Um, I'm gonna run about an hour. I have a lot of workouts today that I didn't mean for to do that. I'm running at eight for 30 minutes and then I have Pilates at 11 and then I signed up for bar tonight. We'll see how I feel, I might cancel it because I forgot <sighs> that I had Pilates today. I also woke up so thirsty. I'm so ready for warm weather runs. I just wanna go out naked, like I'm so tired of bundling up and putting on layers. I just wanna put on my running shorts and a sports bra and go. I also don't always eat before a run, but I quite literally woke up starving, so I'm eating. just so beautiful outside. The sun is out and the sun has not been out in such a long time here that I'm like so excited to go for this run right now because the sun is out. So yeah, I'm getting layered up. Um, these pants are in movement. I wish they did not discontinue them because I've gotten more obsessed with them the more they've been discontinued. So in movement pants by Lululemon, this is just a Lululemon. It's like that that jacket. I don't know what it is, but it's like, I don't know what it's called, but everyone says like BBL jacket. I have no idea what it's called. And then this vest is from Stride and I'm just gonna put on the windbreaker over top of all of this. This windbreaker is also from Stride, but it's really warm and it keeps heat in, so I like it. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for a run. I'm feeling really good. I'm very excited for it, so I just wanna get out and get going, so I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. That's so good. My headphones died, like, I'm not even kidding, like four minutes into the run. Also, I've been running by time rather than miles, which I'm surprisingly really, really liking. Because when I run by time, I find that I'm not like hyper fixating on like how much longer I have to go because I just go until I turn around and then I just come home. One part during my run where it's kind of isolated and I just, I don't love being a woman running alone. I was thinking about a lot of things in my run today. One of which was what I want to do with the planner company. I was working on something yesterday, but I feel like I want to take a 180 and just kind of hit digital a little bit harder. It's very expensive to produce physical products. Like you have to pay for the product and then the shipping and the manufacturing, like it's very expensive. And the digital is not expensive. So if I focus more on digital and get those sales up, I can then create more physical product rather than dump money into the physical when I could be making money first. So I think I need to like switch my direction a little bit of the planner company and focus on digital. And I have a couple of ways to do that that will benefit everyone. So I think that's how I wanna kinda of hit the ground running with the planner company today. And I was thinking about that yesterday. I thought about it a little bit when I woke up. I thought about it a lot on my run and I got a lot of clarity on my run with that. So I think that's where I wanna go with the planner company for the next, for the rest of Q1. Hit digital hard and then see where we're at entering Q2. Oh, I couldn't wait to come home and drink water and make green powder. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go shower and then, yeah, it's 8.30. I'm gonna shower, so I'm gonna be back down here by nine and working by nine. There's really nothing like a run to like start your day, honestly. I just feel so good. I can put makeup on and like as I was putting, oh, I did this cute little bubble braid. My hair is like short, so I wanted to try it on like shorter hair. I think I should move this down a little bit so the tail is like a little shorter, but whatever. Um, yeah, I want to try it on shorter hair because I always see it on girls with like super long hair and it looks so cute. 
And I was like, let me try it on my length. And I like it. I use Bloom, but I also have AG1, which I love. I kind of alternate between the two. Um, but I always take this every day. AG D3 plus K2. I actually forgot yesterday now that I'm thinking about it. That was a good hour. I answered some emails. The next thing I'm trying to do is get the hardcover planners on Amazon. Um, I really need to hire someone that knows a lot more about, sorry, um, that knows more about like selling a physical product because I really don't know a ton and I feel like I just keep I just keep doing things wrong like I feel like I get the shipping cost right and then I get my invoice from my fulfillment center and it's like nope I was so off and I just owe a lot more money in fees than I'm setting myself up for and I really really thought that I like got it right so I'm just like, I'm really, I'm just learning as I go when it comes to like physical products and it's really hard, honestly. Like I have no effing idea what I'm doing and I'm like eating the cost of that. So I really need to figure that out and I need to, like I wanna hire someone on my team to, that just like knows what they're doing with physical product and stuff like that and how to like grow this company. But the thing is, I don't really have like the money to bring on anyone like salary wise. And I really don't want to like look for investors or do a round of funding. Like I really want the products to be funding the company. So I need to work on the digital side of things to like raise money that way so that I can afford to have someone come on and help me with the physical products because I can create the products all day long. That's not the problem. The problem is scaling the company and growing it to where it's profitable and I can bring people on as employees, like full time. Like I'd love to hire a CEO for the company. Like I don't want to be the CEO. I want to be the creative officer, but not the CEO. So yeah, anyway. All that is to say that I'm trying to get the hard covers on Amazon so I can reduce the shipping costs for you guys and hopefully for me and also just get the planners in front of people more because I know a lot of people obviously shop on Amazon. So if I just put the planners where the people are, hopefully I'll sell more of them. So if you want to work for me for free and you can actually do this, let me know and I will eventually pay you. I'm totally serious. Go to my website, toridesimo.com and click contact me at the bottom and I'll look for your email. I can't pay you, but I will one day. Thank you. Quaddies ready? Yeah. My mom tweaked her knee <coughs> on Sunday in yoga. Mm -hmm. It's always something. It's always something with her. My mom also said I looked pretty today. You do. Dread Studio, how can I help you? Now, to get up to this pool with your bar, you have options. You can jump up and grab it like a trapeze artist, or you can climb with your feet on the side rails. But what you want to do is find the control and the muscle engagement to not slam into it. So it's all about control. Pull up, find that halfway point. And this is where we're going to get into your core. With Pilates feet, you're going to exhale, lower your legs long. Inhale, rise up. Try to keep the carriage as still as you can. Good. Exhale, lower. Wait till we do the other side. <laughs> Pull up for 
three if you can give me three. I know, isn't this humbling? <laughs> Are you cheating? Yeah. <laughs> 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 How do you feel? Um, humbled? Humbled. I was very yes. humbled during that. Yep. Um, I wasn't recording, but we we ended class <laughs> with teaser. My mom literally. <laughs> I was stuck. I was literally <laughs> stuck like a fish out of water. I couldn't get up. Oh my god, it was so funny. <laughs> it was so bad. No, honestly, the first thing that we did for teaser was harder than the second. Like when we're higher up than when we were lower. Lower down was easier. <laughs> well, yeah, when I was laying out there completely sprawled out and I'm trying to lift my legs and my upper body and the straps at the same time, I was like, no. Well, teaser is one of the most advanced moves in Pilates. I know. For good reason. I know. Yeah, it was hard. We did those pull ups, which I got those on camera. You can see how weak I am with my pull ups. I, well, they were, were really hard, but I did them. Yeah, you were doing good I with did the pull ups. Those. I was impressed with myself on that. Yeah, my arms are like toast right now from those pull ups. And then when we're doing the bridges with our foot on oh the bar, there's God. no way I can keep that carriage. Home. I know, she I moved can't. it back, and I was like, I didn't even know it was out. I thought yeah. I really kept it in right. too. I can't do that. Yeah, I can't even hold up my camera right now. <laughs> It's too heavy. <laughs> Ladies for lunch. Bodies and lunch. Home again. When I tell you that was the best lunch I've ever had, like I'm so not exaggerating, that was the best lunch I've ever had in my freaking life because that chicken sandwich that I had, O M G. All right. Back to the grind. So I never take pictures of my outfit or anything, but I feel like I look so like cutie today. I don't know, like my little bobble braid, bubble braid, and like my little makeup today, and like my little puffer and my story set. So I want to try and take some pictures out on my deck. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Yeah, I'm so embarrassed. I don't want to do that ever again. Way too many people saw me do that. About that time that I moved to my couch. <laughs> About 3.30, I put on my fireplace. I don't know why I'm like not getting warm lately. I'm just so cold and i'm tired of feeling cold all the time i'm in the mood soon for like something sweet like chocolate hi guys um it's wednesday um but good morning guys it is my hair looks long I don't know if my hair is long or short. Like, I don't know. I think it's still short. Anyway, um, happy Wednesday. I was just with a friend on a walk. It's 10 a.m. I met her at 8.30, so we just went on a really nice walk. Um, it felt really nice out. It's 50 degrees out, so it, it felt really good this morning. Um, it actually feels colder than 50, but it still felt good nonetheless. But anyway, I'm also going to see my friend Jules and her baby. The last time that she was in this vlog, she, her and I went to Claudia's comedy show and she was being induced the next day. So now um, I'm going to meet the baby and I'm so excited. I haven't met him yet, so I'm so excited. I don't know if I will vlog the baby. Um, it's obviously up to Jules, who's a mother now. She's a whole mom. Um, and I was gonna slide. So yeah, I'll let you guys know. I have a feeling Jules will wanna vlog him now. A YouTube debut for a little, little baby. Hey everyone, um, last time we saw, I was just about to give birth. That was two months ago. We're here, the baby's here. Tori's here, so. This is and such I'm a great time. The baby. Yeah, let me bring you over there. I rocked his third eye, and then he went to bed. His third eye. Say hi. He's like dead asleep. 
Can you guys believe the last time you saw him, he was in Jules' belly. His feet don't go all the way through. Oops, sorry. <laughs> his feet are right there. And he is so cute. He's been good today. What's his daily routine like? Explain it to the people. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he's really good. He sleeps a lot through the night. I actually have to wake him up to feed him. Which, you know, they would say don't wake up a sleeping baby, but he's really tiny. He's got to eat. He's got to grow. So we have to wake him to eat, feed him. Um, then he wakes up, does his first feed. Well, when he does six o'clock feed, then he falls back in bed with us. We take a little nap. This morning you watched Housewives. Oh yeah, I played New Jersey Housewives for him this morning. Season I think he premiere. liked it. Who was your favorite? Did you like... Wait, I think I like that Danielle girl. I like her too. But I like all of the new girls actually. The other girl like seemed kind of weird. Rachel? Yeah. But they didn't introduce her. I know. So we watched mm. Housewives. Then he fell asleep for like three hours. Then we woke up. I changed him. He ate again, and then he was up for like four hours, and so now he finally fell asleep. We're actually just waiting for the toast to drop a new episode. Oh, there's YouTube on the TV. You knew that. <laughs> you said that fine. I know, yeah. but then you guys were like, trying to... Uh... Oh, yeah, wait, you never tried my hack. What hack? Oh. Because <laughs> you played my video instead. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay, let's go see his room. There's stuff all over the floor. But... That's all right. We like just moved to this house, so when you move and have a baby at the same time, it's stressful. Okay, here's this wall. We got this name sign, but we didn't realize the monitor kind of messes everything up. Here's this closet. Literally, we have so many diapers in here. It's insane. Like, it goes back. Still have to put its blinds up. See, I'm organizing all of his clothes. It's just a mess, but... Oh my god, we got these cute little cowboy boots for him. And this mirror. So cute, right? Yeah. Little, oh my gosh, look at his footprint. Cute. Yeah, the flash photography. Let me test it. Wait, the flash didn't go off. Dean. Teeny, teeny. The flash isn't going off. Um, you have to click flash, I think. It's up. Like, people aren't using them for vlogging, they're using them for pictures. Yeah, pictures. Interesting. I feel like full circle back to a real camera. I know, right? No, it's like all these, um, high school kids are, like, finding out, like, about old technology. It's like, we've, we were using this. We're just, like, a weird age, because, like, we've done it all. Like, we were around, like, before social yeah, media. Yeah, and now, like, Jackie's wearing those headbands again. Oh, I have them, because I love them. I used to love them. I just, I can't, like... I'm sure I'll wear them if they become like so popular again, but it's just so me with the baby. This is giving the same energy as when um, Kim was taking selfies when Chloe was going to jail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like think? screaming, crying, and you're like, baby. <laughs> I can't tell if you want this or not. Do you take videos during the birth? Not while I was giving birth. I'll show you the last video we took. It's actually kind of funny.